Hello folks, it's Ron back here from Ron's uh, Drone Camera uh, GoPro Insta360 uh, RSE channel. We, we cover everything over here and uh, what we got for you today is a little bit of a comparison video but not the usual comparison video you used to see it on a lot of these YouTube channels. Um, you know, it's been a lot of talk lately about um, you know, the new drones coming out and uh, you know, I got the, you know, the um, Air 2S here with the one in sensor, but there's a lot of talk uh, lately about new drones coming out, uh, the Mavic 3, of course, and uh, a lot of people are looking forward to uh, a four-third sensor on that, which is bigger than a one in sensor, which the current uh, 2 Pro, Mavic 2 Pro has. Uh, but so the latest rumors kind of indicate maybe it's not going to be a four-thirds camera now. We don't really know, but a lot of people were looking forward to this four-thirds camera. Then we recently got a leak uh, that their Altel 3 is in the works and coming soon. And it will have uh, different variations, but one variation will be the four-thirds uh, camera. And of course, the uh, X-Dynamics Evolve drone, uh, which has you know, been on the way out for a couple of years now, is going to have a four-thirds system. And um, the DJI Inspire uses the, four, the four-thirds sensor also. So it's a big, it's a, I'm going to throw a chart up here. It'll show you the sensor sizes. And you can see how much bigger it is than, than a wide sensor. And, and the beauty of a bigger sensor, and one of the things that leaves more light in, you know, it's just bigger, capture more light, and uh, you have more detail, more dynamic range, all that stuff, whatever. But a lot of people are concerned with the low light. So that's what the four thirds uh, sensor can bring to the table. But since I don't have a four thirds drone yet, since the Mavic 3 Pro, with a four, if, if it has a four, th four thirds sensor, is not out yet, and the Altel Evo. Uh, three with a fourth third sensor is not out yet. So what I did is um, I took the um, the Air Two, and I'm going to show you my little uh, my you know kind of uh, props here, or whatever. So we're going to switch the camera here. So uh, hold on. You know, of course, we have the uh, Air Two S here, which I showed you a little bit earlier. This has the uh, one-in sensor in it, um, and uh, I said so. I don't I don't have a, a, a four thirds drone yet. So what we did is we grabbed my Olympus um, uh, OMD uh, uh, EM1 Mach 2, which is a four-thirds camera. And just for the heck of it, uh, we threw in the uh, iPhone 12 Pro, which has a, 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 a one, uh, one and three-fourths sensor on it. Um, you know, which is kind of an odd thing. I don't think that's even my chart here, but, uh, you know, a, a one and three-fourths uh, sensor. So much smaller than either one of these two. And uh, what I did, this is just a photo test only, not not video. I didn't roll any video. This is photos only. Um, and we took, you know, kind of the same photo with, with each device. I mean, I, you know, I, I took a few with the Air, with the Air 2S, you know, 100 feet or more up in the air but most of it I try to keep it at a low level like say 10 15 feet so the the photo wouldn't vary that much from the light uh it, the other ones are getting because I was taking this at around uh, sunset that obviously test some low light capabilities so um yeah so I, I you know these photos you know they're not side by side exact uh you know they're going to get the exact same photo from this as you are this as you are this but the photos are all taken generally you know in the same area so the photos are going to be similar but they're not going to be exact so this is not like a scientific test where somebody you know put all three devices on you know uh some kind of big tripod and, and, and hit the buttons all at once but uh i think you'll get an idea of how each one one can perform and and you know um I, you know i'm be interested to see i'm not going to tell you my thoughts i'm going to let you uh determine you know, uh, what you think uh, of the uh, photos and then we'll kind of come back at the end. Now, um, you know, even though this has a small sensor on it, the one thing this has going for it, I think this has better computational, uh, you know, uh, photography. So I think the software does a be better job of making up for the sensor than in either of these two devices. So this one on the software side, and what I did here is I shot everything in JPEG, like, you know, 
uh, you know, I, I could have shot Rawls or whatever, but just to make it, you know, I, I don't know, fair, nothing's fair, but just to keep it simple, so it would be no like, kind of editing on my part in or whatever. Everything was shot in, in, in JPEGs on all three uh, uh, devices. So uh, the JPEG is a process uh, image, the, uh, the device does, you know, the sharpening and, and, and the various uh, uh, things uh, to it. So, and, and each device was shot on auto. So each device picked its own white balance, its own IS, you know, ISO, um, everything, so everything, we Dr. Autoed, everything Dr. Autoed, everything JPEG or whatever. Uh, so this had no input from me. I haven't edited these images in any way. I hadn't, I, I hadn't made any uh, camera adjustments at all to uh, change the image around. So, okay. Well, um, I'm going to show you that clip one more time of uh, the, uh, the chart showing the, um, the different sensor size. I'm going to roll like the video. Actually, just, uh, you know, what do you call it? Like uh, uh, when the pictures roll by uh, uh, from three different devices. I would clearly mark... Uh, what each device is uh, or the images so you'll know and then we're going to come back in the ad for a little conclusion so okay as they say in the uh, in Hollywood roll that clip Rob back here. I, you know, I hope you uh, enjoyed the, uh, the little comparison of the photos there, and uh, you know, I hope you you know, got anything out of it. If you were trying to decide between, you know, whether you need a one inch sensor or for a third sensor, and uh, yeah, I hope this helped in, in some way or another. Maybe we'll do a, a video uh, comparison next if, if everybody liked the uh, photo one. So. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to give my uh, conclusions quite yet. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll keep this up. I just, you know, I want you to tell me down in the comments if you notice any difference, uh, which one you like better. And, uh, you know, um, well, you know, what will your buy decision be on your next drone? Will you look for a four thirds or a one sensor, you know, be enough for you? And, um, yeah, so um, that's about it for uh, this video. I'm going to... I, I just, you know, I heard so much talk about the four third sensor this week that I thought, hey, you know, I can, you know, I could at least do a photo comparison, you know, with the one inch versus the uh, four third. So, um, yeah, and again, I, I think I mentioned you have to take into account that e each device, um, you know, create its own JPEG. Uh, so, so you are dependent, uh, a little bit image dependent on what the device, the processing. Uh, for the device does post processing after the photos taking in camera and again remember the iphone in my humble opinion does the best job of um, computational photography where it uh you know it, it does a lot of thinking to create the uh, best image o over the other two uh two devices and uh you know and the of course the um olympus is the oldest device here so it's kind of a Processing it in camera image processing may be the oldest. That doesn't mean it's the worst, but I mean the iPhone 12 it, it has only been out about a year now. The 13 just came out. The Air 2S just came out in I think a May of, of 2021 this year. So it's only about uh, let's see four months old. So again, the the Olympus is the oldest uh, uh, camera here. So just take all that to account, and uh, again, you know, uh, you know, I hope you enjoyed these images. You know, I hope this helps you see some of the little like capabilities. And I do want to mention in um, like in the Olympus, in the first set of Olympus photos you're going to see, um, for some reason the camera kind of 
I, I guess, uh, kept the iOS down or something, and the and the images were uh, much darker than any other image that any other devices took, or even the Olympus took later on or whatever. So I don't know why those early images were a little bit darker. And, you know, just to kind of keep things on, on the fair side here, um, I just kind of threw a, a real generic, like, um, 14 to 150 millimeter zoom on here with, um, you know, with a, um, a, a, a aperture opening from four to uh, four to five point six, uh, and, it, and of course I, I didn't change these manually. It, it did whatever thought needed, but anyhow, so I didn't want to throw in a, a real prime lens, something with a real low, uh, you know, uh, aperture opening of a one point eight or one point seven or something low. So you know, this this four would probably you know kind of keep it on an even kill with the other two devices here rather than throwing a prime lens on it so uh, okay i'm not going to go on on here i just want to make this kind of a simple video and uh you know see see what you folks think and if you want to see me do a video comparison between a one inch and a four thirds I'll, I'll try to think up something too again unfortunately the camera can't fly but maybe i'll put on a high tripod or something like that to give it you know a, a little bit of height so um again i'm going to Stop jibber jabbing here and, uh, uh, and let you, uh, you know, maybe rewatch the video again if you want to see the photos a second time. So uh, don't forget to subscribe. Um, uh, hit the like button on this video if you got anything out of it. And then uh, ring the ring notification bell to see more videos like this on cameras and drones and sensors and one inch sensors and four third sensors and, and so on. So we got a, a lot of stuff coming to the channel this fall. A lot of drones, a lot of cameras coming out. So it's going to be a busy time, folks. So uh, you get out there, you know, and take some great photos.